Shelly Irwin hosts the morning show on WGVU-FM each weekday, providing insight into everything Grand Rapids. An Indiana farm girl, she's added guests from the world of agriculture. We talk about what's happening on our farms every month. One of my favorite interviews on behalf of the Michigan Farm Bureau, very strong in our community. And my next guest is involved. He's an award winner and more. One of the four prestigious State Young Farmer Award winners for this year. And uh, well, he's all about the apple as well. And thank goodness he brought some in the house. I had fudge last week and I kind of I kind of like the apples. A uh, formal welcome to you, Nick Schweitzer. Good morning, Nick. So I um, was contacted for somewhat of a media uh, opportunity to get to know local farmers. Uh, I think it's been a year now through the Michigan Farm Bureau and uh, I thought why don't we uh, why don't we talk about you in a, in a positive light on a monthly basis. That's how this uh, uh, this got started here on the morning show. She was just fascinating to talk to and just thoroughly excited in learning more about farming. And um, it was kind of from her mouth that it started. Um, she said, hey, you know, if you set up interviews for me um, every month, I'll just give you a time slot every month and we'll interview farmers. And um, she has just been a, a joy to work with. A few of the issues that I think will be big at the uh, state annual will be um, right to repair, which uh, equipment with proprietary software um, means that farmers sometimes aren't permitted to do certain repairs or obtain the necessary diagnostic tools or software to connect to the tractors to make basic you know, repairs. And that can be a big issue, especially during harvest or other integral times when you need to get your um, tractors or equipment repaired so you can get out there and get the job done. Basically, it's what you all want to hear. Uh, Yes, Crossroads Blueberry Farm was in studio. We just spoke with a, an instrumental dairy farmer uh, that shared her, her challenges and her surprises and, and certainly her thrills. And um, we've talked about cheese and we've talked about um, harvesting meat. So again, uh, uh, we want to encompass all that the farmer has to offer. Nick Schweitzer, what's your uh, take home message to us when it comes to farming and uh, and the good work that uh, you and the Michigan Farm Bureau does? We, we farmers, we want to grow the best crops that we can for um, all the people in the, the world and the U.S. and uh, we're here with great local produce for you. The information was good for the average person to hear. Uh, sometimes they don't hear you know what Farm Bureau is and what we do and like the important roles that we play and how we develop policy. It's a great time. Uh, you get to spread a little bit of message about what you do on your farms uh, what you do in agriculture and what we do in Farm Bureau. Farmers need uh, a voice. I would serve as your messenger and yes I'm going to make it as positive as possible. So uh, if we have an opportunity to talk about uh, uh, the, big, the big things and the little things and the, the farmer who wants to get uh, across the desire that uh, we need to come out to the farm to, to visit to see what really is involved with farming because I did learn that the stork does not bring the, mar the milk. Michigan Farm Bureau State Annual Meeting does happen November 29th through December 1. Congratulations to you, Nick. Let me see how we're doing here. Mm. That works. <laughs>